Hi, you guys. It's me, Elena. I was just taking a drink of water. So, welcome to my channel. Um, so, this video, as you see on the title, it's about planners, tips, and ideas. So, I'm going to go ahead and get started. So, um, I wanted to... Uh, I enjoy, like, when I do smash books, I enjoy um, making my own smash books. And I have that book, smash, I'm sorry, I have smash books that I purchased. And, um, and some that I like to make myself. So, as you know, I have, um, I have a planner that I do. I have a couple of them, but the ones that I'm working on right now is my crush for my doctor's appointment and stuff that I do um, outside of the house and stuff like that and then um, I have I wanted to put together a planner uh, kind of like a binder I'm trying to get something here a binder kind of thing and I'm sure you guys have seen them and um, let me go ahead and just give you an idea um, so this is the I'm sure you guys seen them all. This is the binder from Target. And these run about $3. Really affordable. And so um, what I did, I just made a little dashboard here. Added some paper. Made some pocket. Um, kind of like pockets to put in this binder. I just bought the folders and then just traced it. Cut it out. And then just added a... Uh, uh, clear um, plastic in here so that's pretty much it that's in this um, binder but uh, this is not the one that um, I wanted to fix this is just I wanted to show you an example so this is the gold one and um, let me go ahead and share with you how uh, you can make these pockets here okay and um, thank you, thank you for the ones that uh, message me. I so appreciate that you message me because otherwise I wouldn't have, um, I wouldn't have gotten your message. So um, that's why I'm sorry it took long, but I'm so glad that I'm finally doing the video for you. Oh, sorry, you guys. Um, the for the pockets. So I'm gonna show you um, how I did mine. They're very easy. And they're very easy to do. I've seen a lot of different ones. And um, I terrible a measurement. I'm real terrible at it. And um, so anyways, this is how I did mine. So I wanted to share with you guys. So um, let me go ahead and give you some examples, okay? So this one here... Um, let me see here I just had it okay this is the first one that I made and I love these little ones you can either <clears throat> add some things in there or add sticky notes on top on top oh my god I can't even talk you guys use sticky notes to add on it like you can get these ones and then just add and they'll stay on there without coming off because of the folder material that's why it stays on so um you can make something like that and um another one that i did what they come out like this and then they're like this so you can either glue or a double-sided tape right here and then just close it up like that or whatever way you want to do so that's another one and then I'm going to show you where I got the idea from, okay? Now, you know the folders that come, um, let me see here. I don't think I have, do I have that? No, I don't think I do. Okay. So these are some of the folders that come in the Target um, binder and paper pack for your binders. So it came a couple of these. And so what I did... I took it apart and then once I took it apart it came out like this so once I saw this I thought well you know what I'm gonna go ahead and try it 
So, um, so I got one of these, you know, the folders at Target, and then I lined it, and then I just lined it, I mean, traced it with a pencil, and then I just cut it out. Once I cut that out, then I did the scoring just by looking at it, like here. And then I just use this, oh, sorry, this to score it down right here and right there. So that's, that's where I got that idea from to pretty much just make my own. And then these ones, I just kind of eyed it and looked at the whole folder right here. And then I just got, oh yeah, I can cut me a smaller one so I can use for my sticky notes or whatever. Or even small stickers. So I made little ones like this. And then I used, um, I used, sorry you guys, I wanted to show you something. I used this paper that I got from uh, Michael's. That's where I got that one from. So you have, sorry you guys, I have everything. I don't want to move you too much. So you can pretty much make small pockets. You can make these big ones. And you can either, um, even like Manila file folders, you can cut them and then trace them. Get a pencil and then trace it and cut it out and just make it your own style. So that's pretty much what I did with these to make my pockets. And I know a couple of you wanted to know how to make them. So, and you can also look on Pinterest for a template. So you can pretty much get an idea how, what kind of pocket you want. So what I did with this, let me show you, um, where did that go? Oh, okay. So I just did this one right now and I cut it out for you guys and all that. And then I scored it. So it's going to look like that. After you punch the holes where, um, you know, how, how you have your binder or your planner or whatever how your setup is. So what I did, I just added double-sided tape here. And then I closed it up and then it stays like this. And then you have that much room there. And then once you figure out how you're going to punch the holes, then I just add um, double-sided tape. And I just use the, the small one just to add right here. And then that way you can seal it. And then there's your pocket. So I hope I explain that as much as I can. So that's what that looks. And I got these from um, Walmart. Walmart, I mean Target. But remember, you can get the Target file folders and make your own pockets instead of buying them, you know. Because I know they can be pricey. And I do enjoy making my own thing. So um, I bought these for a dollar. And um, they came a couple of them. And then I just cut it and used them. And I made my own pocket. So um, that's what I did. And I love how that one came out. So I'm going to use that later on. So um, let me show you um, another thing that I did. Okay. Um, now here's another one that I traced and that's a small one so as you see right here I got this is a let's say this is a manila file folder you can just cut trace it and then uh, I mean write it I mean kind of like draw the lines there and then cut it out and then you all you have to do is just fold it into a small pocket so you can add in your binder or your you know or your planner or whatever like that and then another thing that I did too was I got these at um at Walmart sorry you guys <laughs> you're stuck with this paper here I got these at Walmart these ones and these are the three pack folders and they came in different styles and colors and these were only 99 cents for three pack folders. So what I did, I just cut, not this one, but I'll show you right now. I cut that right there. I cut that and I added into my uh, binder. That's another thing that I did. 
and then like this right here you can cut it up if you want you know like how you say size it to your binder or your planner because you see those dashboards like um, from me and my big ideas how bright and colorful you can always make your own even if you don't have a, a laminator machine or anything like that you can make your own so those are just some tips that I did in learning on the way of making a binder so and then um, for uh, making paper clips I did these ones there's different things you can do like I made this one if you want to make your um, your binder the the calendar for October Halloween style if you're into Halloween that's the the style you want to go you can get these from Walmart and then use um, 6,000 and then it'll stay on there or if you are just into fall you can do leaves or different things so I did this is just some examples like I did these two um, it doesn't have to be that one I did this one the candy corn um, let me see I also did this one and then I just added a little bit of glitter as you can see just a little bit of it so those are just some ideas that you can do and then um, and then as for uh, labels you can do labels make your own labels if you want and um, right here just to show you an example I cut up some cardstock and then color paper to put on right in the middle and then I put um, double sided tape but you can use glue whatever you have on hand and make your own labels and that's exactly um, what I did with this see I did an owl label and then right here you can label it and then just put notes and then glue it and that can be your labels so you can pretty much make your own labels with cardstock you know leftover scrap paper that you have that you know you would like to use in your stash so that's another thing that I like to do too so let me show you um, let me show you the binder that I had uh, put together and then um, oh yeah let me show you one more thing before um, I'm showing you all this because I wanted to show you how to do the pocket and um, and the little ones and how I used my file folders and then these ones right here here's another idea I picked these up at um, at Dollar Tree and they're um, they're the circle labels and so what I did um, I put them through my printer and um, I did just a clear color design just a circle and so that's what I did and then I got my stamps that um, I wanted to stamp the circles with so as you guys know I love Tweety Bird so I did a couple Tweety Bird I colored that one in and then I did some owls and then I added some day by day some other um, stampers that I have that I use for my planner so I made my own stickers and um, I did this one too and I color some flowers so you can use your stamps too on your labels and just to be real creative with your planner and then there's the owl because you guys know I love owls and then um, I did this one and as you can see I've been going through these like crazy and I did these owls oh I think these are so adorable I color it in and then I stamped on I think no I uh, got that saying from Pinterest and you know it's just being creative so um, I did these stickers and you can get that pack at um, Dollar Tree where you don't have to spend a lot like going to Staples and all that to um, buy the, the labels you can go to Dollar Tree just to get started you know so um, that's another idea and so let me show you my um, binder that I have put together 
So here it is. Now this one is from Target, the same as this one here. They're the same size. So these ones are $3. I'm sure you guys have seen them. Um, and this card, I had this card and what I did, I just clipped those on. And these are from, um, from Dollar Tree. They're clothespin, but I just love the color and it went great with this binder. So I just clipped it on top and then, you know, just, and you can always use this on top to add a note or anything you want on there. I haven't labeled it on the side yet. I haven't got there yet, but it's just, you know, an idea. And I just watch videos to get ideas. So you can always watch planner videos and just to get some ideas. So let me go ahead and share the um, the inside with you. So um, here we go. So this is the front. And this right here is a pocket. The pockets that I showed you guys, how I did it. So what I did, I used double-sided tape and I added it on there. And then I added washi tape to seal it. And then I colored this image that I got on Pinterest. I added it on there. And then um, this is a little card, like a journal card. So I just colored it in because you couldn't see it that, you know, that much. And it says, I want to fill my heart what's important. And then I just added more washi in the bottom. And then this is a card. Oops, sorry guys. This is a card um, that my uh, one of my good friends had given to me for my birthday. I keep that in there. And then um, you see this uh, chevron. Those are from the Smash product. And let me show you the inside. So I got it and um, it's kind of like a rub-on um, gold chevron. And so um, I had it in my stash. So I got it and I just layered it here and I just um, rubbed it with a pencil. And that's from the Smash products. I haven't seen those because they clearance them, clearance them out in the summer. But I was able to pick up one. So um, I love that look. So I went ahead and added that. But I wanted to add the card in there because uh, my friend had given me that card. And I really love that card. So I added that on there. And then right here, these are the ones that are from Target. And what I did is, remember this jar that I showed you guys? Um, let me see if I can find it here. It's that one right there. So I got that folder and I cut the mason jar. And then I added it on one of the, um, one of the binders. And then I just um, glued it on there. And I loved it because it came with like with a little tag. And it says love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. <laughs> and I just love what it said. So I added that on there. And then I added one of my Tweety Bird stickers. And then this, oops, <laughs> this says home is where you feel loved and i just love that saying that i just had to have to leave that on there i mean put that on there sorry you guys everything's flying apart sorry and i just love how that came out so you see you just get different ideas of how you want your binder to be so let me um show you the inside so here's the inside and um i just love it I mean, I love adding all kinds of things that I like, that I enjoy. And um, let's start with this page here. So this one right here, um, these binders, binders, um, dividers I got from Michaels. And I cut them on sale or something like that. So I wanted to use it for this binder. And then I have some stickers and some notes. And then I have a little tag on there with one of the stickers so um let me see if i can move you guys over here and then on this side um i made this uh bookmark and i love this bookmark so what i did with this i used um let me see 
I use these that I got at um, Tuesday morning. But you can use anything. If you have white cardstock, just trace it, punch a hole, and there you go. And these right here I got on Pinterest. So I just printed them out. I stamped that owl, added some paper, and I just thought that came out really cute. And then another thing that I want to share with you guys, because um, Pinterest has a lot of ideas. And let me show you. See how I printed this out? And you can cut them out and you can use them either in your binder or your planner. So I cut that out. And then you have this one that you can add in your binder if you like. Or even use for pocket letters. And then they had this one where it's for journaling or to write notes. So um, these are some of the things that I do when I put my, uh, my planner together. You know, I do a lot of research. I go on Pinterest. I go on blogs. I see what I can find. So it's pretty much where you just have to do research and look what you can find. So that's what I did. And that's why I love putting this bookmark together. So I use that. And I just love how that came out. So um, I made that. And then this one, I have that stamp. So I stamped the bear. I colored it and added glossy accent. And then I added on this gold clip that I got. And I just love making my own paper clips. They're so cute. And then here's a pocket that I made. As you can see these ones and then here's some paper clips I made this one those are the flowers from Daiso I love those so I made those and then here's another um, clothespin that I made I got these at Target for a dollar and then I just added these on there that I got at Walmart so I did that and then here's the inside and then here I have another sticker and then this bunny that I call I mean I colored and it says pocket letters and stuff like that so it's just making it your own style and what you like you know so here's this one um, I love Tweety Bird as you guys know so I did this one and I printed it out and um, I got some laminating paper from Dollar Tree and I just laminated it so I just love Tweety Bird. So I just went ahead and added in there. I have some stickers in here that I use. And um, this paper is from um, Target. I love, love using this um, paper here. And um, just writing notes. And as you can see, here's a pocket that I added. That paper that I showed you that I got from Michael's. So I made a little pocket. I added some sticky notes. I added this cute ghost that's on there. And of course, I added my, my owl that says day by day. I love that owl. And see, I made a, like a little pocket. So I have these in there. I have some of these. And uh, just a couple notes that I can use when I'm writing stuff down. So... I love this paper and as soon as I saw this this vellum I knew I had to get it so I just love it so here's this side and then I added some washi samples in here that I can use and then these bags are from um, Target now I haven't did the um, the month yet which I'm always late on doing my months so um, these are the pages that I'll be using for the months um, but I love, I've been using this for a couple, like probably about two weeks. So I haven't, I wasn't decided to put the calendars in there, but I went ahead and decided to do that. So, um, and then I added these ones that say the week and then start from Monday to Friday. So I love that. And then here's another, um, side where I have for Happy Mail. I have some like addresses and names so I'm not gonna flip through that and all that so um, and then I have this owl clip that I made I got that owl from Hobby Lobby and I just put it on a clip and then here's this another um, 
pocket that I made and what I did I just cut the corners and I use my corner punch I love this corner punch I got this from Michaels by recollection and oh my god I love it and it comes off if you don't want to use this it can come off too so I use this a lot so I cut the corners on there and then I added a banner I use my jelly rolls and just kind of dot add dots on there and then this was from a, a newspaper clipping and added those Heidi Swap hearts and um, I just docked it up you know and then on this side as you can tell I added some notes and some washi tape and just you know I just pretty much make my binder my style and what I like and that's what it's all about you know and here I stamp some things on here when I'm doing some writing and my owls and I mean it's just making it your own you know so I love doing that and I love um, making notes and this I'll be definitely this binder that I have put together this one is going to be for home uh, for my videos my projects uh, my swaps um, all that stuff that's going to go in here but of course I want to add things that I enjoy too and I have a picture of me my goddaughter that I want to add on here um, where was I going to put it I think I was going to add it right here maybe I'm thinking about it so um, anyways but I just wanted to share what I had done with my um, binder and I wanted to share that with you because I do enjoy um, my planning and I just didn't I just didn't know what how much a community is out there that a lot of people do planners and I do enjoy that so I hope this has given you guys some ideas and what you can do for a planner and you can put together yourself because these pockets that I got um, the file folders were a dollar and a lot of stuff that I add I wanted to make it myself and I use a lot of images on there and Dollar Tree laminating paper and um, Target stickers and Walmart stickers and you just pretty much and look at I love this pocket so you just um, you can just be creative and use your washi tape and all that and so let me show you my other planner oh my god I can't even talk you guys my other planner is the crush so it's this one that I use for my doctor's appointments when I'm out and stuff like that and this right here I got this from uh, Target it's bracelet so I thought I use it for my planner I thought it was so pretty so let me show you the inside of my um, of my crush so it's this one and it says today is great and I love that that it says that so here's um, some clip bonds. Oh, that's some names on there. And then I added these uh, labels. As you can see from the smash book, I added on here. Because, of course, I make it my own, you know. And then I added um, a die cut someone sent me. I added this one. And then I made my own um, paper clips to add on there. Um look this is so cute I love this owl I love it so I colored it added on there and then I just clipped it on there and um let me see here hold on you guys I'm just trying to give you guys some ideas of what you can add in your planner and then I got these paper from uh, Michaels and I just cut them and I just add them in here and sorry guys this video is way too long and then this one right here my friend gave me this and it's a card and I wanted to add it in here so I just punched the holes to add it in there and they're cute because you can add like little cards or you know and then this right here I did this one and it says I need an eighth day of the week and I love that so I laminated it and then adding added my sticky notes 
and then I have my stickers that I love these stickers I got these from Target and then here's another paper clip that I made using the twine see I use that and then oh, sorry you guys um, see that I can't I have some addresses so I can't um, show you that but um, you guys get an idea of what you can add in your um, in your planner so sorry guys I just had so much that I wanted to share and I wanted to make sure that I was able to do this share and I hope you guys enjoy this video and that you have some tips and some ideas of how you can work with your planner and all that. Um, I just wanted to come on here and to sh share with you, I can't even talk, share with you with this binder that I had put together and um, I love this binder and um, I'm going to be using that for here and it's just, it's awesome that you can make your own and it's so fun. So I'm glad that um, I was able to share with you guys and thank you guys for stopping by don't forget to comment and sorry guys this video went a little long and um so don't forget to check back um on my videos i will be doing that drawing for that secret giveaway um it would either be tonight or tomorrow i'm thinking tomorrow it will be because this will be my last video i just want to put this up and um i have some notes in here that I wanted to share with you guys. Um, I wanted to thank uh, Phyllis G and Vic Vicky Cole um, for I think it was no it was Michelle yes that wanted to see the pocket and then um, Vicky wanted to see my planner so I hope that answers some of your questions if um, you need any more information, just leave a comment and I'll get back with you guys, okay? Thank you for stopping by and I hope you guys enjoy this long video. Okay, you guys take care and I will talk to you soon. Bye, you guys.